What is up my bodyweight warriors and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the side splits and in particular my progress where I'm at currently and also a few tips and tricks for you to get more out of your side split training. It was about three months ago, give or take kind of a week, that I posted my side split routine tutorial on YouTube and it got a huge amount of positive feedback. By me posting that routine to YouTube, it was kind of making me accountable to actually do the training. So I did, and I've been sticking to the routine exactly as I described on my YouTube. I don't always do the pancake section. As I said, that was optional. I sometimes do and I sometimes don't. Um, but I've just been sticking to that twice weekly frequency, good amount of volume, about 30 minutes in total, a week of training. And the progress has been quite honestly ridiculous. The middle splits, the side splits, as I mentioned in that video, is something that I have never really been good at and it's always been a restrictive range of motion for me. Uh, despite lots of different stretching methods over the years, I just haven't made progress in that range of motion. However, these past three months has gone from like 90 degrees to pretty much almost a full side split position. I'm now about five to 10 centimeters off the ground depending on what set of my training I'm on. I guess you could say this method has kind of been tried and tested in this n equals one experiment. I've made ridiculous progress over the past three months. And I think if you were to give it a go, the exact routine that I described in that video, just for a month, you would see some tremendous progress. So I just wanna share a couple of tips for you that I kind of learned along this journey that I didn't really know when I was making that video. The first is foot positioning. Now, in that video, I talk about having a neutral foot position where your feet are facing nicely forward and you just slide on down into middle splits. This turns out isn't necessarily going to work for everyone, including myself. Um, I found there's sort of three key foot positions. The first is facing straight forward, like I mentioned in the video. The second is having them turned out to kind of about 60 degrees. And the third is having that weight on the heels and the toes pointing up with the legs turned out. Those are kind of the three main foot positions. I recommend you experiment fine, which is the most comfortable for you because a lot of people experience pain when they're doing side splits. I mean, there will be pain, but there shouldn't be like actual severe pain. I found that keeping my feet flat on the floor, but turning them up to about 60 degrees worked well for my anatomy and helped me drop down further. As well as that, um, the second tip that I want to give you is to do with hip positioning. So there's kind of this common flaw when it comes to training the middle splits at all the side splits and you want to keep your body in a nice kind of horizontal almost posterior pelvic tilt line and you just want to sink down and remain in that completely upright position well anatomically this kind of just isn't actually possible like you you physically can't sink down into a side split position with your hips in that straight neutral position emmett lewis summed that up best in his facebook post which i'll link to in the description down below and he basically talks about twerking your bum. You have to really stick out your hips into a big anterior pelvic tilt, really stick them back. Honestly, that difference, I, I went from like, in two weeks, I made like double the progress I'd made in the previous month, just from changing up my hip positioning and my foot positioning. But that is kind of it for today's video. I mean, to summarize, if you want to get started with your size split training, I recommend you check out the routine first and then apply the tips that I just briefly shared in this video to the routine. The main thing here, guys, is consistency. I feel like if you do even just the middle split isometrics twice a week for three to five sets, you will see a huge improvement in your side splits. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button and support the channel. If you have any questions or just wanna leave your opinion in the comment section down below, then join the conversation. I really like to hear what everyone has to say. If you have a friend who wants to or is struggling with their size splits, then I recommend you share this video, share the original size bit routine with them. As always guys, if you need further guidance, I'm available for online coaching, but I only have a limited amount of space 
that is it for this week guys i'll be back with next week's video starting a new series that i'm really excited to share with you but until then have a strong week and peace